BSc 2019. Question number six. Limit x going to infinity. This entire thing is equal to minus five. So let's see what we can do by this expression. Limit x going to infinity. I can actually divide this by this. So I need to have an x plus one in the numerator. How will I get an x plus one? It's easy. You think about it. Minus two plus three. If I do divided by x plus one, minus c one x minus c two is equal to limit x going to infinity. This will give me x plus one into x minus two. Can all of you see that? I can factorize this part, and I'll get x plus one into x minus two by x plus one plus three by x plus one. Minus c one x minus c two, correct? This cancels out. I can write this as limit x going to infinity x minus two plus. If I put in the limit x going to infinity here, this will become zero. Am I right? So this becomes zero. I'll not have this term. It will be zero minus c one x minus c two. This is equal to minus five. Now, if this has to be equal to minus five, this x and this c one x has to cancel out. Am I clear? Because if x is uh, going to infinity, x is going to infinity. I can't have any x element in the expression. It has to cancel out. If c one is not equal to one, c one is say equal to zero. Supposing c one is equal to zero, then this. Limit will be infinity because I have an x element there. C one is uh, say equal to two. This will be going to minus infinity because then it will be x minus two x. So minus x minus two minus c two. Now if I have a minus x, x is going to infinity. This entire expression will go to minus infinity. So this. Cannot have an x expression. It can't have any x because the output is a constant number. Am I clear, Purvi? I can't have any x element here. It has to cancel out. Otherwise, I will have a plus infinity or a minus infinity here. I can't have a minus five here. So the value of c one has to be equal to one. No other alternative. After this cancels out, c1 is equal to 1. What do I get? Limit x going to infinity minus 2 minus c2 is equal to minus 5. So basically, minus 2 minus c2 is equal to minus 5, or c2 is equal to. So c1 is equal to 1, c2 is equal to 3. Answer is 1 comma 3. Answer A.